I have a feeling you hate this sort of thing, but we need to head back to Gideon. Governor Keshu insists on throwing us a victory celebration. I wonder if there will be cake. I could really, really go for a big, gooey piece of cake. Oh, the best kind. I hear Governor Keshu really knows how to throw a party. Food and drink, music and dancing. And she wants everyone to be there. Sure. The gardens behind the governor's mansion are big enough to entertain an entire army. Hey, before you join us, can you check on Sombrin and Kalia? Invite them to the party? They went back to the Temple of Debella in Gideon. I'll meet you in Gideon after you collect Sombrin and Kalia from the temple. I think we've earned a little relaxation and a slice or two of cake after everything we've accomplished here. Absolutely. I think I'm really cut out for it. You get to travel, meet interesting people, see ancient places, and you get to solve all sorts of riddles and mysteries. And sometimes people throw you a celebration party too. A party with cake! I'm from Grotwood. Have you met my people? It's all roasted this and roasted that, and even raw this and raw that too. You don't get to enjoy many pastries under green pack rules, you know. Knowing that you helped people and seeing how much they appreciate it more than makes up for the dark times. You walk into town and people say, Hey, it's Evelyn! Soon the little kids around here will all have pigtails in their hair. Count on it! Hello? If you're looking for our guests, they're long gone. I know you. You brought those guests to our temple. Kalia and Sombren and poor Destron. Everyone in town is talking about your deeds in Blackwood. You helped stop that traitorous Vendacia and his cult. Thank you for that. I did say that, didn't I? I suppose that even the charms of the Lady of Love can be too much for some folk. Not everyone can stand the bask in Debella's glory for too long at a time. But they were good people. I liked them all. I heard them talking about a ruin north of Gideon. I know that particular place well. But let me mark its location on your map. When you can spare a moment, come back and enjoy one of our ceremonies. All should open their hearts to the secrets of love. I just came by to... I came by to find out what was keeping you in the ambitions. Where are they? What happened to Kalia and Sombrin? A ruin? I wonder why they went there. Haven't those two had enough adventures after all they've been through? We should go find the ambitions or they'll miss the party. Did the priest say which ruin in particular? Lead on then. The party's going to start soon and we don't want to be late. I for one want to get a nice piece of cake. Or maybe a slice of pie? Oh, broken branches, I'll just have both. What is it? How much longer, Sombrin? This place makes me feel uneasy. Not long now. I'm almost... Uh, oh, it seems we have company. I told Sombrin we should have talked to you before coming out here. But he was so insistent. He wanted to try something with the book. Away from other people, just in case. 
Sombrin thinks my only chance is if we return to the Deadlands. The nature of the realm naturally draws off my power, making it easier to control. Sombrin doesn't think so. He says that's the last place they'd look for us. I'm still attuned to the realm from the trial in the Ashen Forest. Sombrin believes he'll have enough time to teach me if I'm not in danger of imminently exploding. Worse? I suppose that depends on your perspective. It has been growing in intensity again, back at the same level as when we first left the vault. Sombrin is worried I don't have much time. That's why he's being so insistent. I'm actually glad you found us. I didn't want to leave without an explanation. But I'm afraid that Callie doesn't have a lot of time. Callie's power is recharging faster than I anticipated. It will soon reach the point where I won't be able to help her. Then she'll either release it and destroy everything around her, or it will consume her. Either way, people die, including Kalia. Use the Mysterium Zarxis to open a portal to the Deadlands. It's the only place I can think of where Kalia will be safe. The realm naturally siphons off a portion of our power. That will give me time to teach Kalia to control it on her own. It's a big place. Zaina taught me how to avoid notice there. And it's the last place Dagon's followers will think to look for us. As soon as Kalia can control her power, we'll come back. I promise. Thank you, my friend. For everything. I'll return the book when we come back, Evely. Nah, you keep it. I think it was meant for you. I hope Sombrin's right and he can help her. But taking refuge in the Deadlands? That's like the sausage leaping out of the pan because it thinks the fire will be safer. As for me, I never want to visit the Deadlands again. Hey, it wasn't my book. I was just keeping it safe for... Well, as crazy as it sounds, I think I was meant to give it to Sombrin. He certainly did more with it than I ever could. And I'm not about to miss the bad dreams and the waking visions. We go to the party! It's taking place in the gardens behind the governor's mansion. To think, this all started because I was curious about a coded journal I found in Emperor Leovic's old retreat. We figured out the secret, and now we celebrate. I'll see you at the party. Last one there doesn't get any cake! <laughs> That sounds delicious, assassin. You must leave me a copy of the recipe. The Black Thing Legion and the Ivory Brigade won the... Welcome to the celebration, mercenary. There are many here who wish to thank you and share a drink or two. But where are Sombrin and Kalia? I expected you to bring them with you. Choosing exile to spare others from danger is a noble decision. I wish them well, even as I worry about Sombrin and Kalia out there on their own. Everyone else has gathered. Eat, drink, talk to your friends. In time, I shall address the crowd. Anyone you like, they have all come to show you their appreciation. And do not leave too swiftly. I intend to boast of your accomplishments soon. I see Evely has arrived. Perhaps you should begin with her. So this is what it's like being the hero everyone looks up to? Most of the stories I've read end with a hero riding off into the sunset before anyone can properly thank them. 
But I feel like we ought to stay for just a little while, don't you? I don't know about that, but I certainly feel more experienced. And I have you to thank. Well, you and Captain Rianne and Governor Keshu and poor Farrell Lupus. Can you believe this all started because I couldn't leave Emperor Leovic's secret alone? That's right, I almost forgot. And we should be ready to help Sombrin and Kalia when they return. I don't believe that Mayroon's Dagon and his followers are just going to leave them alone. I really thought the ambitions were actual weapons, though. Here, your share of the last of our compensation from Leowin. And a little something from me. I learned so much at your side. If you ever need any help, just send word and I'll come running. Oh, look! I think Governor Keshu is ready to speak. Welcome, people of Blackwood and honored on friends. We have weathered a terrible storm. So now, we celebrate. Many had a hand in this victory, including those who gave their lives for our cause. But I want to honor the two heroes beside me. Without them, all would have been lost. So stand tall and raise your cups to the sky. Remember those who fell and praise the deeds of those who lived. To victory! I suppose things worked out in the end, but let me offer a word of caution. Dragging the Brotherhood into this was risky. What you do in your spare time is your business. But assassins don't like the spotlight. We prefer lurking in the shadows. You mean after helping you clean up this massive debacle? Oh, the usual, I guess. Try some more of the local cuisine. Collect my next contract. Complete my next contract. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. What an adventure this has been, right? I'm really building up a collection of stories. I think I'll stick around the area for a while. Visit with my brother, catch up with my cousins before they return to Valenwood. Maybe help round up any remaining cultists still hiding in the wilderness. After that, who knows? I do hate leaving a story half finished. One time I lost a book I was reading and it drove me crazy. But yes, at some point we should find the fourth ambition and make sure none of them wind up sacrificed to Mayroon's Dagon. We defeated the traitor Vandasia's plot and saved Blackwood, and we couldn't have accomplished any of that without the help of you and Evelyn. Hold your head high, friend. This day is yours. We must continue to remain vigilant. As long as the war rages to the north, there is always a danger it will spill into our territory. Beyond that, I plan to continue the work I started, there is still so much to be done. The work to build a place where Saxleal and Dryskins can learn from each other in peace. Where all people can prosper while maintaining their own cultures. And I want to continue to study the ancient Argonians, to learn what they can teach us. Leowen has stood with Gideon more times than I can count, we will continue to work together to keep Blackwood secure. Captain Rian and I were even discussing joint patrols. Imagine, brigadines and legionnaires walking side by side. It's inspiring. <laughs> 